Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who's at Indie? Strategic Tactical Survival Indie Games, your face all Today's impression is brought to you by Game Round, as always. Today is Corridan, which is a four person cooperative arena based fighter. Now, you can play up to four people. I'm currently running the story mode with three bots. You are humans who are fighting dinosaur like creatures. Okay, there's an energy based. So you attack, you do energy based damage. You can see the more energy you have, the more damage you can do. There's also an ability where you kill your target, you can become your target. Stealing their essence and basically being them. Now, obviously, you're going through and showing how it works. Now, it actually works as kind of a. almost top down. Side scroll, you move around with wares, you can click and attack, you can jump attack, you can also dodge attack. So you can actually do all the hallmarks of an action ARPG, which is an action action RPG. What a training bow! Oh, and yeah, your basic stuff is sword and bow. Unless you're an other creature, in which case obviously you are not using that. Boop. Boop. Works pretty easy, as you can see. Just point and click. Nothing too major. And the enemies are unique. You don't see the usual fare of... Eh. Ow! They are pretty tough as well now, looking at it. Obviously it would be a lot easier if there was other humans with me. Oh my god, it actually does a grab attack. Can't see. Although you will find because of the visual, you will occasionally not be able to see an enemy who's actively trying to kill you. That's just the way it is with these kind of games. It gives it a little bit more... Out of energy. What's that? There it is. Pound with shell. So now I'm a Houndra, I think. There we go. That's how it works. You kill something, it drops a shell, you take the shell. Impossible. Do my eyes deceive me? They always deceive you. And obviously when you do it, you then get the abilities of that creature. You can't carry on using a sword as a beast. Now depending on the creature, you have different skills. So you shapeshift. You human the muscle form of one energy bar each. So I took a turn back, and there we are. We can only have one monster. So if you want to choose another critter you see, you have to get rid of the previous one. So pick the ones you like, and be happy with it. Now, I'm stunned. How is that possible? I died an exercise. So there's a bit of story, I'm kind of skipping, I don't really care about the story. Although, which is weird, considering I'm playing the story mode. There is a story mode, there's a horde mode. There's... that's about it, really. Let's see, what am I doing? Why am I doing it? I don't know. But that's it. That gives you the idea of how the game works, and what you're doing. You're killing things, and you're occasionally becoming things. Which is the best way about it. My device, which we cannot say the name of because it wakes up, is flashing green. Someone has sent me a message. Or well, map. Dale home, arena backstage. Now the nice thing is I chose the story mode to see what else there is to the game. Anyone can show you the same thing fighting over and over and over. But it's sometimes nice to see what else there is. This my home? No, this my home? The random person outside? Right, tell you what, the map's not the most accurate. There we go. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, am I not even anywhere near them? Oh no, there's some kind of annoyance. Choose class of the skills. K. There could be a guardian, which is sturdy class for physical damage. There's a hunter, which is ranged as a hellion. Is fire and heat, the surge, which is electric. We're gonna go Hellion. 
I'll see you have different abilities as time goes by. I'm gonna ask you how to point into Flame Blade. Escape. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me I am now a Hellion. I must now go home. Oh. I like it. Okay, you guys also hang out. Is this a communal home? Now, because of what it is, it's a very weird mix of old tech and scrap tech. In which case, you know, swords and bows combined with the remnants of the ancient world. Like, this is literally a power cord. This, I have no idea what this is. Okay, thank you. I have fast travel to my own house. And I do kind of like that kind of style. When you just find good and bad stuff combined together. You know, cyberpunk, scrap punk, diesel punk, steampunk. I love all the punk style games. Because there isn't that many of them. I mean, there's a lot more junk punk style games or scrap punk games out there than there used to be. But there's still not that many in certain styles. Oh, you can swim. I was worried I was going to drown. One thing I can say is if you want to play this. You can't. This is the last few days of it on G-Round. I'm going to do two free games a week. Um, yeah, every, two free games every week for four weeks. Hello. Okay, travel to the River Ridge. Isn't this the River Ridge? Oh, travel to the River's Edge. Oh, I can run. Sprint. Oh, it just told me how to sprint. I literally learnt before you told me. I'm getting a little bit of, um... Cause what a, purely because we want a beach, I'm getting a teeny tiny bit of Path of Exile going on. Come on down. Take damage really quickly. God, I learned to use my dodges better. And a chest. Excellent. Ooh, a simple crossbow. A simple crossbow for a simple person. Let's see. Damage is... Jaw damage. Okay. Oh, it actually just changed the weapon. Good, 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 good. The world's interesting. I'll give it that. And actually, ranged combat is actually viable. As long as you have the energy. Oh! It's fun! Now, I don't know how much there is outside of the, the arena-based stuff. The storyline I've not really touched. I've touched the arena stuff. Which is, you know, a certain set area usually outside. Where you have to defend areas, kill certain things and just survive and gain points. Story mode I have not looked at at all. So this whole thing is kind of unique and interesting. Now the world itself, I'm kind of curious to see more of. Because let's face it, it's an interest. It's actually very interesting. Oh my god. A very interesting style. Combining um, prehistoric levels of world building with ancient remnants of the modern world and some kind of advanced tech which looks like the, the tail end of what happened to them so that weirdly be not I mean uh, p uh, scientists have tried to advance certain levels of tech but they're still at the same level we currently are so you get this really weird eclectic mix of stuff like you know lightsabers but they're still using horses to travel around let's face it Star Wars they really should have built their tech up. My god, some of the tech they had was terrible. I mean, shotguns would have absolutely killed nearly every single uh, Jedi. Any kind of pulse weapon. Just stop making things they can, you know, fire one or two shots after the other. Fire a few hundred shots in a row. Let, let's see them try to stop a machine gun. Let's see them stop an A-10. You 
can't stun them, I've noticed. Oh, there's a big guy just watching me. There we go. I do like the fact that low energy means damage is decreased. You can still attack, but you attack worse. Oh, I'm being eaten. Oh, retry. Nice and simple, too. I like this. I actually love the style. I love the setting. I'm okay with the gameplay. I'm not... It's just okay to me. I don't know if it's like a good or a bad thing. It's just... It's gameplay. But I absolutely love the world. Like this. It's just boxes on this massive conveyor. Like, do I know where it's going to go? No. But I want to know. Can I shoot that? No. That's a shame. Okay, I genuinely want to know what happens in this world. Maybe they'll tell me. Maybe they did tell me and I wasn't paying attention. Again, I'm skipping the story. Sved, you don't have to. Ooh, there's a box down there. Do I jump down? It's stuff like this. I love the glow. Absolutely love the glow. Oh. No, I'll just take me straight back down. Okay, never mind. No, the view of the world is interesting. I don't think I can get back up now. I've doomed myself. Oh, I'll go this way. Look at that. Oh, few issues. It is in early access slash alpha. So it's not officially a completed game. So you'll get bits where occasionally you'll just disappear inside the scenery. But only from certain directions. Looks like there's actually a varied amount of terrain too. There we go. The only thing which will keep you wanting to go to these kind of games is how many different enemy types there are. So far we've seen... Small guys, big guys, spitters and insects. That's like five already. If we can keep the variety going, that's where the longevity of the game is. But let's face it, once you start getting to the stage where you're able to kill these guys pretty easy because you've learned tactics or you've built up your character properly, you want to see a good variety. Like that. See, I'm starting to learn their attack pattern, which means they're not too much of an issue unless there's a lot of them or there's new guys. Which is fair and fine. Where's this go? Okay, let's see. I'm back to here. So there's a cross. Nope. I'm going to go underneath and go to the crossing. It's like falling off on this bit is a massive issue. There we go. Now, the actual UI, you can see at the top, definitely needs to be altered. It's not good. But I imagine that's because it's a placeholder. The actual UI really does not fit with the rest of the world. It looks kind of like my first UI. So it's either a placeholder... Or we could do a bit of tweaking to make it look better. That's not really for me to say. I can tell you when things don't look right, but I can't tell you why. What is this? Ooh, a chopper axe. Okay, let's go for an axe. Really? Really? I thought you had to be bigger. It looked bigger. I thought it'd be a two-hander. It probably technically is a two-hander, but even so. See this? It looks like what we would build, but the door's glowing. Which is something Tesla would build, just to prove a point that he's better than everyone else. 
and then you probably name it something bad. I have noticed people high up don't have the best naming policy for things, which is very odd. There we go. I'm saying Tesla. You know what I mean, Musk. If Tesla was around, my god, if Tesla was around, we'd probably have like space lasers by now. Anyway, let's go to the edge and see if we can find this place for them. Here we go. Oh, it's a big guy. It's weird. They're, they're proto dinosaurs? They almost look like regular animals who've been lizardified. So, it might maybe that's what it is. Ow. Just tail slapped, man. Go, go, go. Well, no, it's a massively varied world out here. I really am keen to see more of it. Oh, there's actually a lot of guys now. Ow. Okay, he is definitely telegraphing their attacks. The big thing is they do telegraph their attacks. Very important to notice. Unfortunately, my guy also telegraphs his attacks. Got it! Oh, that means I can now turn to this guy. Oh no, so my adventurer. Okay. No, 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 no! Let me in! Let me in! Wait, are you telling me this isn't the end? Come on. Open the door to the dinosaur, literally! No? Uh, oh, the cave area is literally up top. Okay, fine. Now, if I want to, I can change my, my dinosaur. So now, I can become this guy. Okay, that's the heavy attack. So everything has a heavy attack. Let's do a little run. Get down tonight. Get murder on. Looks fine to me. Ooh. Yeah, definitely a very varied uh, tile set. You're seeing a lot of different sceneries, a lot of different areas really often. It really helps build a sense of variety. You don't get bored of things. So I could happily, you know, see the beach, see the regular areas again, rather than have to spend like two hours on the same single tile set of like a beach. Eventually you get bored of beach. Well, here, no. I'm actually enjoying it. I have one health. I'm going to loot all your corpses and your... Ooh, heavy mace. That's better. Oh, fa wait, fast travel. Can I just go home? They lead south. Good. Hey guys, I found some footprints just led south, but I came home. Can you guys come with me now, please? I mean, seriously, I thought we were a team? Like the Power Rangers? You know, during one of the many times they actually were a team and not fighting each other for power or leadership. Are we not... we're not a team? We're not friends? Let's shoot him in the head. Hello? No? No? Well, they're not part of my team. We're not the Power Rangers. So I guess we'll end here. This has been a look at Corridon. I absolutely love the world building. The controls work really well. The dinosaur change thing is very interesting. Uh, the actual controls outside of that, they're about the same as you'd imagine for an action RPG. Which, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm interested to see more of the world. The combat... It's hit or miss for me. I've played too many ARPGs, but it's just fine. It's just fine. It doesn't really stand out, but it works very well. But the world building is definitely where it's at. Either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. It's been a first look at Corridon. A early alpha. Extremely early alpha, because it's still being built. And um, I'll see you next time. And the Who's That Indie? Strategic Tactical Survival Indie Games. Your face holes. Take care, be awesome, be epic, and be seeing you soon.